We'll begin by creating our base with our Wolf FX body paints in a dark blue. Using a makeup sponge or a foundation brush, apply evenly all over your face, your ears, and down your neck. Don't forget all the little crevices like in your nose and around your eyes. We might have to do a couple of layers to get it good and even. What's great about this Wolf FX body paint and makeup is that it's really stable. You don't really need to set it. I'm going to mattify it with a little translucent powder just to get a little bit of the shine out. But it's activated with water, it spreads evenly, and it is really pigmented. Mystique hails from the Marvel Universe. Her first appearances were in Ms. Marvel's number 16 in 1978 as Raven, her humanoid form. And again in Ms. Marvel number 18, as we know her, as Mystique. Her age and true identity still remain unknown, as her shape-shifting skills and powers keep her ever-changing and ever-young. Using a translucent, loose powder, just buff it all over your face. We're trying to mattify the base and take out any shine just to start giving our face a little more dimension. Mystique's mutant power? Shifting atoms in her body to mimic any person of any sex or race. She can duplicate their fingerprints, vocal cords, palms, even their clothing. Her healing is increased. Her age progression is slowed, and she also has immunity to poisons. Using a dark blue shadow, I am just pressing into my eyelid to mattify the lids and create a darker base. I'm using Coastal Sense Dark Blue Shadow. Mystique took a strong liking and a mother-like connection and role to the young rogue and has even claimed to be Nightcrawler's mother. Apply a dark purple and also a black to the crease of your eye to create more dimension and depth. I'm now using a ivory or a satiny white shadow to create some highlights on my brow bone, on my cheekbones, and around my jawline, and down my nose to create further dimension and angles as Mystique's comic booky cartoon face has. Using the same blue shadow you used on your lids earlier, with an angled brush, apply it under your cheekbones on a strong angle to create a defined cheekbone. You can also put it under your jawline, the sides of your nose, and along the sides of your forehead. Mystique's hair is red, so we're going to use some red eyeshadow and also a red liner to fill in our brows to match her hair. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just going to add a little bit of my white highlight color to my lids and blend it together with my crease color. Just to add a little more pop. And using a large fluffy face brush, blend away. Recently, Raven worked in secret with Professor X in exchange for criminal protection. Her motives are still unknown, and she later infiltrated Xavier's Institute as Fox. With a liquid liner, create a strong winged edge along the top lash line of your eyes. With a black coal liner pencil and your liquid liner, line the bottoms of your eyes to intensify the effect. After infiltrating Xavier Institute as Fox and placed into Gambit's group, she was later outed by Emma Frost and tried to convince everybody that she just wanted to learn a little more about the X-Men and be a better foster mom to Rogue. Line and fill in your lips using a red lip liner. I had left some of my blue face paint along the outer edges of my top and bottom lip just to create a little more dimension once I put my lip gloss on. After your lip liner, gloss it up with some bright red lip gloss. I'm using NARS Red. Mystique's physical attributes aren't the only shapeshifters. Her mind is just as indecisive as her motives are still unknown and her loyalties still also undecided. With my concealer brush and a little bit of the Wolf Effects paint, I'm just cleaning around the edges of my lips and the corners around my eyes and any other small little crevices on my face. Once you've neatened and finalized, add your false lashes, your contacts, and your red wig, and you're set.